This is Jamie William uh, in Upshur County, and I am here with Sheriff Larry Webb. And I guess uh, had an incident uh, at a game room uh, yesterday uh, involving a robbery and the firing of a weapon, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, what happened? Uh, yesterday, uh, about 4.30 in the afternoon, my deputies responded to the corner of uh, 1002 and uh, State Highway 155, just north of Big Sandy, for a robbery that just occurred. Um, once the uh, once the deputies arrived on scene, they had learned that an individual that was actually an employee of the business uh, actually robbed the location. Hmm. Okay, and this uh, I guess this individual got his hands on a on a gun. It, it wasn't his gun, right? No, it was it was the gun that was kept behind the counter, and uh, uh, he basically walked up to the person that was working the register and asked to hold the, the weapon. And uh, of course he gave it to him. And uh, when he did that, he announced that he was robbing the place. And uh, they thought it was a joke at first and uh, until he fired a shot through the roof. Um, from there, uh, he actually took, the, uh, took money from the cash register and then took all the cell phones of the patrons that was inside. Okay, and he he, he didn't uh, he didn't keep those phones, I guess, because those were recovered, right? Yes, evidently, uh, when he left the location, he threw all the phones beside the road, and uh, and we were able to recover those. Okay, I believe we were able to recover all of them. I'm not sure on that. Um, I think there's still a few that are outstanding somewhere. Okay, and this uh, you guys are looking for this guy. He's got a warrant out too, right? Yes. And he, the person's known, I mean, because he was an employee, now why he did this, we don't know, but he'd been there pretty much all day working. And uh, uh, yes, we do know who he is, uh, and he does have an active warrant through our agency for a felon in possession of a firearm. Um, and his name is Dwayne Stevens, and uh, he's uh, a black male, six foot three, 250 pounds. And, uh, um, if anybody knows his location, please give us a call. Okay, and I guess uh, you're saying this guy does have a previous record, but it was quite a while back, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And now, uh, now I guess uh, we have a new development with this whole thing. Uh, you are in the process of shutting the place down, right? Yes. Uh, when we, uh, I sent the, uh, I sent my investigator that handles game room regulations for the county. Um, and uh, they have been found to be in violation. The regulations are currently being shut down at this time. All right, and of course that uh, that has nothing to do with the robbery, right? No, it does not. Yeah, no. It's a completely different thing. You guys have a certain set of guidelines that they have to follow, like any business. Yes. And if they fall outside of those guidelines, yes, shut them down. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so at this point, you're still looking for the suspect. And uh, and you're shutting down that game room. Your 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 game rooms have been cut back uh, here in Upshur County. County. How many do you have now? Uh, we have seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Seven from down from eleven. Is that what it was? Well, when I took office, it was nineteen. Oh wow. Okay. And then we went from nineteen to eleven when we had the regulations put in place, and then uh, as of last week's operation that that occurred here in the county and in other counties in the state, um, we have uh, now have seven. Okay. All right. Anything else? Nope. That's it. All right. Well, thank you, Sheriff, for all the information. Appreciate it. Uh, obviously, if you stumble across this guy, probably not a good idea to approach him. <laughs> call you right. guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give us a call and uh, let us know where he's at. All right. Thanks again, Sheriff. Okay. We'll have more later on KLTV 7 News and KLTV.com.